I might be too late, but we're just asking everybody to try to use only sunscreens that have zinc or titanium oxide. Oh, well, I don't know that I was going to even get in the water here. Oh, okay. Well, it's kind of personal, both in that this is a reef I love and all of the reefs, and I've seen it get a lot of damage. Now, um, sunscreens won't reduce all the damage that's happening to our reefs. There's problems with sedimentation and ocean warming and acidification, but one straw that we can take off the camel's back, I, I believe, is one swimmer at a time, one snorkeler at a time, one surfer at a time, is the sunscreen the sunscreens that we now use, modern sunscreens, have some toxicity problems. The researchers that offered the, this revolutionary paper, um, they, in the lab, have seen that 62 parts per trillion of any of these compounds are lethal to coral planula, or the larva. It also sterilizes them, and it bleaches them at a lower temperature by 10 degrees. It makes them expel their cooperative zooxanthellae at 68 degrees which in Hawaiian waters we never get to, so it's always a danger. But at 62 parts per trillion, if that's lethal, what they discovered by doing some water samples here in the reserve is that the levels had reached over 800 parts per trillion. So that's 12 to 14 times the lethal dose for coral. That's a lot of stuff going in. Well, you're welcome to one of these. Um, we're just trying to help people when they go shopping. I know it's a lot to remember. Oh, yeah. And I, I can't pronounce all these things and spell them correctly. Yeah. So that's what not to buy. Okay. And that's, that's real simple. That's what you do buy. The good old physical clown makeup that the surfers, the classic zinc and titanium oxide. Only now, the formulations, you don't have to look quite like Point Break. that's the real shocker to all of us is to look at how much is being put in the water by each individual person and how cumulative it is. In DLNR, we are always trying to use fences and control feral ungulates to help natives recover, but people and education is also part of the conservation movement and our, and our efforts. That much sunscreen, that barrel full, that much sunscreen's going in to the water around Maui every day, one person at a time. So we're yeah. just trying to say, go silver. Okay. We have a lot of options. Um, if they drive in and they see our barrel, our old barrel that washed up in the ocean, we've got a sign on it. And that's because about that much sunscreen goes into the water around Maui each and every day from one snorkeler or surfer or swimmer at a time who puts on sunscreen. And by the way, I should say, we're not trying to say don't use sunscreen at all. I'm all silvered up. And like I said, it's personal for me. I've had some, some suspicious things taken off by my dermatologist and it runs in my family. I, want, I have to be sun smart. I'm out in it four to six hours every day on one of the harshest landscapes in Hawaii. But that doesn't mean I can go without protection. So I wear rash guards and so part of what we show people is our own silver skin. Um, we show them our poster on our barrel. And um, we have background information we can hand people if they want more in-depth information. But the key thing we've found is that all the compounds to avoid are kind of long and complex. So we're just interacting with each, each set of visitors that comes and trying to encourage them to uh, use the right sunscreen and or a rash guard. We coach everybody, if you can't say it, don't spray it. I can't say most of these. <laughs> They're too complex.